I am super excited to share some fantastic insights for all the coaches out there. If you're looking for ways to boost your productivity and organization, keep watching this video. I am going to show you five brilliant ways you can use Asana as an online coach. Whether you're a nutrition coach, a business coach, or any other kind of coach, these tips will be a game changer. So let's dive in. <laughs> Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm an online business manager and Asana systems specialist. I am here on this channel to help you save time and mental energy in your online business. So if that is something that you love to learn more about, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more like it. All right, so the first way that you can use Asana as an online coach is as an SOP bank. If you don't know what an SOP is, then please make sure you watch my previous video on what is an SOP because it will tell you about the game changingness of SOPs in all their glory and you really need it in your business if you have an online business. So anyway, that's not the point of this video though. <laughs> so as a coach, I'm sure that you find yourself repeating the same processes and therefore you want to set up SOPs, but where the heck do you store them? Well, you store them in Asana, of course. Asana can be your SOP bank helping you create standard operating procedures for all of your tasks and processes. From client onboarding to session structures, having them in Asana makes it a breeze to keep track of all of them, make sure that you are regularly auditing them and keeping all the details updated and keeping it all in that one centralized space so you never have to know where to look for that random SOP that you're looking for. <laughs> And you can assign them to team members to, and reuse them whenever you want, saving time and mental energy. The next way that you can use Asana as a coach is to track your affiliate partnerships. So we know that collaborating with affiliates to help your business is a great idea. So whether you have your own affiliates in your coaching business or you are an affiliate for others, you can track all of this in Asana. But I know it can quickly become overwhelming to track each partnership's progress and all of the tasks that need to be completed and the links and the codes and just all the things. So Asana comes to the rescue once again. <laughs> You can create dedicated tasks for each affiliate, including the link to the dashboard, the actual affiliate link, the affiliate code if there is one. Um, you can create subtasks in order to keep track of all the moving parts, any tasks that you need to do relating to that affiliate. You can attach your images in there, videos, anything that you need can be kept within that Asana task so that it's all right there when you need it. And this makes sure that nothing slips through the cracks and you don't have to remember where you put the thing because it's all in that one place. <laughs> the third way that you can use Asana as a coach is for client management, a very important piece. So as a coach, providing top-notch Client management is of course very essential and very important to your business. With Asana, you can easily keep track of your client's progress, goals, and any tasks that need to be completed in relation to that client and really so much more. From keeping track of scheduled sessions to tracking client milestones, Asana has got your back. <laughs> and the fourth way that you can use Asana as a coach is as a content calendar. As a coach, as I'm sure you know, consistently delivering valuable content is really important for creating your online presence. So Asana can be your go-to content calendar to make sure that you're organizing it well and making sure that you don't miss a day that you don't want to miss, right? So you want to have that consistent way of following through, making sure that you are creating the content and getting the content out there. You also want to make sure that you are storing your content in case you ever lose your account or you know some disaster happens. You can keep all of that content in Asana if it ever needs to be reposted or referenced later. With a clear content calendar, it really helps keep you on track so that you never miss a beat and are always providing that valuable content to your audience. All right, and last but not least, Asana can be used for planning out your online courses. Creating online courses has become a big part of being a coach for a lot of coaches in the online space and Asana can be your right hand tool in helping you map that out and really plan out every moving part when it comes to creating that course. From outlining content to setting deadlines, you will have everything in that one centralized place. So again, you never need to know where to look or where to find something. And you never have to remember what you need to do next because Asana remembers for you. Yay. <laughs> 
All right, there you have it. Five incredible ways to use Asana to streamline your business and get it all nice and organized. There are seriously endless options when it comes to organizing your business within Asana. So get in there, get started with these five and see what else you can come up with or reach out to me to see how I can help. And But really, really use it. it is just a complete game changer when it comes to organizing your business systems. Remember the best way is the way that works for you. The goal is to streamline as much as possible so that you're really freeing up that mental space. All right, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a helpful video like this to help you save time and mental energy in your online business. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you next week. Goodbye.